Radio. We will get to the football. We will get to Will Kane being my co-host today. But first, I need to address something, and we're going to spend a few minutes on that because that's probably the most important thing, even though I want to talk football too. But uh, one of the things I pride myself on the show and everything we try to do here is cut through all of the nonsense and tell the truth and, and be um, genuine, and that's what I need to do. And this is uh, something you know I'd never want to have to do on a radio show, but I'm doing it now. Uh, last week, I was suspended, and I was suspended because two weeks ago, that vacation that I spent all this time talking about, going out to Montana, and that part was great, uh, and then getting to Jackson Hole, I got arrested uh, the first night I was in Jackson Hole. I got arrested because I went out that night, I drank too much, and I went to the wrong hotel room, and that's how I ended up getting into trouble. And when you wake up and the jail's like, who are you? I'm like, I'm Ryan. Um, and they go, this is all over the place and you're getting destroyed. Just want to give you a heads up. And I was like, okay, thank you. Uh, the way I felt that day and every day since has been tough. But the thing about screwing up is it can be hard when it's just you, but that's actually what's made this easy is that it's only my fault. I have no one else to blame. I don't have any thing like people say a oh, wrong place, wrong time. Well, I guess you could say that, but <laughs> that was my fault. Um, you know, my friends or this guy or that guy, wrong group of guys, wasn't me. It's all on me. There is no one else. I could go through a timeline of events that if this happens, this happens, Maybe this whole big thing doesn't happen, but then it's going to sound like I'm making excuses and that I don't get it. And trust me, I get it. I understand uh, that this is a big mistake because I'm a public figure. and I have my name on a show and I work at a place like ESPN and a place that I'm proud to come into work every single day. So, and I'm not saying this because my bosses are listening, but I deserve the suspension. You know, I embarrassed you guys. I embarrassed myself. And I just, I feel so bad about the people here as it works as an on-air person where you are... You know, there are people here that, that love me, and there are people that are like, maybe ah, I'm not sure about that guy. I'm not sure that I get it. And I think all the people that have been arguing for me and me feeling like the underdog and finally getting my name and all these things that have happened in the last 12 years here, um, I, d I don't want those people in the room that have been fighting for me to give up on me or to feel like I've, you know, because I, I have let them down. So I'm sorry to them. I'm sorry to my family that's been asked about this nonstop, and I'm sorry to my friends. And even though I make a ton of jokes about not having any friends, I I've heard from so many of you guys after the fact it meant a ton and help me uh, because I was super depressed, especially that first week. When you were sitting there thinking about your actions and making this kind of mistake, and you're in a car by yourself driving through Idaho Falls and then into Montana in a rainstorm, and you're like, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe this happened. And I'm sad, and then I'm angry, and I'm punching the steering wheel, and then you get a phone call, and you feel a little bit better. And so, as I said, I joke about not having friends. Obviously, I have a lot. Maybe I should actually pick one of those next time I go on vacation. Um, the other part of this is understanding, reminding myself that I am a public figure and that uh, the rules are different. And if you want these jobs and you want your name to resonate and you want all the good things with it, you have to understand that you're going to pay a different price when you screw up. And I've definitely paid that price. Some of the headlines, it was a tough, a little sensationalized. Um, but at the same time, like I'm the one that put myself in that situation to go to sleep in another room and um, have all this happen. So, again, I'm sorry to everybody. I understand it's serious, but as one friend who talked to me about it said, hey, line in the sand, step over it, know it's there, and move on. Um, that's what I plan on doing, even though I know for years I'm going to have to own this and wear it because if I say Flacco's having a hard time finding his receivers, you're going to say three years from now just like you in hotel rooms. So that's the price that I pay as a public figure. I understand it, but again, I'm sorry, and let's talk some football and get to Will Kane. So again, let's start the show over.